Hey everybody, it's Lauren. Uh, I'm so happy to be able to do this for you, but that being said, it's not really my bailiwick, so I'm gonna do my best. I think it'll be a little rocky round one. Hoping for feedback, suggestions, anything you wanna add. I would so love to hear from you. You can message me on Instagram. Um, so yeah, we'll do our best. We'll make it work, right? And try to stay connected and start up, try to stay in our practice. I know it can be a really helpful thing. It's a difficult time. Uh, note also, this is not my apartment in New York. I was lucky enough to have somewhere to go. Uh, we're in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. <clears throat> I'm gonna offer you, um, it's just gonna be like an intermediate flow, like my regular class. So those of you that are beginners or newer to the practice, don't worry about it, do your best. If something seems like it's not a good idea for your body, just don't do it. Hang out, there'll be something for you sooner. And I'll try to give um, lots of options for you within the flow. You can take what you like and leave what you don't, okay? So if you could come and just find a nice comfortable seat, ground through your sit bones. Just see if you can sit up tall, lift the bottom rib cage out of the hips, lift the sternum, but drop the shoulders. Let the crown of the head reach up. Bring your hands together at heart center. Lift your sternum up into your thumbs. Press your thumbs back at it so you can get even taller. Maybe close your eyes. Take a big breath in through your nose. And exhale it out through your mouth. Just let it go. Again, breathe in big. And breathe out bigger, let it go. Take a moment. Set a personal dedication or intention for your practice. And then together, collectively, send some love, good energy, healing to all those suffering around us. On your next breath in, raise your arms up. As you breathe out, pull the energy back to heart center. Again, inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, pull the energy in. And then raise your arms up, breathing in. Side bend on the breath out. Take your left hand off to the left. Press down into your right sit bone and reach, reach, reach. Try to keep that left shoulder away from your left ear. Try to press into the right sit bone. Open up space in your body. Maybe spin the left ribs up a little bit. Come back to center, breathe in. Easy little twist on the breath out. Left hand to the right side, right hand behind you. Remember, you wanna sit up tall, shoulders stack over the hips. Make space, navel in and up, breathing in. Twist a little deeper, breathing out. One more, inhale space and exhale twist. Come back to center, raise your arms, breathe it in. Side bend on the breath out. Take your right hand off to the right. Press into the left sit bone and reach the left arm long. Get that right shoulder out of your right ear. Plug the shoulder blade into your spine and then towards your waist. Press into the left sit bone, reach even deeper. Ujjayi breathing from here on out, in through the nose and out through the nose. Come back to center, breathe in. Easy twist on the breath out. Right hand to the left thigh, left hand behind you. Sit tall, lift the ribs out of the hips. Make space, navel in and up, and then turn. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Raise your arms back up, breathe in. And then take your hands behind your lower back and interlace your fingers. Draw the shoulder blades together and down. Maybe give yourself a little shimmy, open up some space. And then let the hands fall. Let's do a couple little shoulder rolls. Shoulders all the way into the ears and then let them go down your back where they belong. Again, breathe in, lift the shoulders up, breathe out, let them go down. And then let's lengthen the legs in front of us and shake them out. My friend Stella, this is for you. Bend your knees. If you're lucky enough to be on a mat, take your feet out all the way to the side edges of the mat. If you're not, just take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. They're parallel to the what would be mat and then just knock side to side. Should massage out the glutes as you start to loosen up the spine. Make sure your fingers are tented behind you and you're still sitting tall so that the sternum is up but the shoulders are down. Let it feel good. And then next time your knees fall to the right, take a twist here. Take the left hand to the right side. Sit up taller, breathe in, lift the ribs out of the hips and then turn toward the back of your space as you breathe out. You can lay your forearms down and rock around on that right hip. 
back forth side to side. It's like a foam roller. And then press your way back up. And come back to center and lift the knees. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Mats width if you have a mat. Windshield wiper. Keep going, let it feel good. Ujjayi breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then drop those knees over to the left and take it the other way, right hand to the left thigh, left hand behind you. Breathe in, make space, sit taller. Breathe out, turn. Again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Maybe you stay here, maybe you drop your forearms down and rock around on that hip. Just keep trying to find space in your torso by working the chest forward and letting the shoulders stay back and anchoring into that left hip. And then come back to center. Lift your knees back up, little windshield wipering. And then bring the knees back to center. Let's cross the ankles and come to hands and knees so that you're on all fours. Make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees. Cow pose, lift the heart up and through the arms, draw the shoulder blades together and down. Angry cat, pull the navel up into the spine and then round from there. Again, cow pose, as you breathe in, the heart lifts up and through the arms. Angry cat round, breathe it out. Come back to neutral. Send your right leg back, tuck the toes under, ball the foot's on the ground or the mat, Push back through the heel, see if you can get space in the right calf. Keep the collarbones wide. Your gaze is forward, mine's to you. And then let's take that left foot back to meet the right. There you have it, plank pose, top of the push-up. Gaze is to the ground in front of you. Keep your neck long, it's an extension of the spine. Full body, breathing here together for five, four, three, two, one. Knees go wide, hips to the heels, child's pose. Breathe here. Know that this pose is available anytime you want it. Nobody's watching, right? Let's try to get a little space in the shoulders and the upper back by flipping the palms to face up. Bend your elbows, let your hands land on the tops of your shoulders just underneath your neck. Work your arms in a little closer to your heads. And then inch by inch, Scooch the elbows forward till you feel space open up where you need it. Maybe the mid and upper back, maybe the shoulders, maybe the armpits. Two more breaths here, in through the nose and out through the nose. And then as you're ready, using an inhale, extend your arms long, flip the palms down. From here, come right back into hands and knees, all fours. Flip your fingers so that your wrist creases are as parallel as possible to the front of your mat, or what would be your mat. Fingers point to the knees and start to make some circles with your torso. Breathing in the wrists and the forearms. And then take those circles the other way. And then flip the fingers back to face the front. Go ahead and extend your left leg back, tuck the toes, ball of the foot's on the ground. Push through that left heel, and then lengthen, collarbones wide, heart reaches forward. Breathe into the left calf, or wherever you need space. And then right foot back to meet the left plank pose. Breathe in, keeping the gaze forward and your neck long. Tip forward, bend your elbows straight back and very, very slowly, leading with your heart, your collarbones, lower all the way to the mat. Take a baby cobra, draw the shoulder blades together and now to lift your chest and lower on down. Again, inhale, draw the shoulder blades together and down, lift the heart up and exhale, lower down. Take your hands under your forehead, elbows out to the side. Shimmy the hips a little side to side and then bend your knees and windshield wiper your shins. Massaging out the quads, as you continue to breathe space into your back. And then extend the legs long. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, breathe in. Hands by the shoulders, elbows in the air, breathing out. Inhale again, 
and exhale, press up, plank pose. Breathe in, hips up, downward facing dog. So for this down dog, I want you to stay here for a few breaths. I'm gonna pedal it out, swivel side to side. If your hamstrings are tight, you need to keep a bend in your knees in your down dog. In fact, everyone, bend your knees, lift your heels high. Draw your chest to the thighs as you try to press them out away from you with the heels of the palms. Now see if you can straighten the legs. It's okay if your knees need to say so. Down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Once you get back there, bend your knees as much as you need to to lay your chest all the way down on your thighs. Grab hold of your elbows and hang out in your rag doll. I like to sway side to side. You can stay still if you prefer. Breathe into your lower backs and the backs of your legs. And then let the hands fall to or toward the ground. Come halfway up. Hands can go to shins or even to thighs if your hamstrings are tight. Just long spine, chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale, fold on down. Again, halfway up, send the heart forward, keep the shoulders back, breathe in. Fold on down and breathe out. Inhale here. Let's use the exhale to crawl back, downward facing dog. Let's go through a few different rounds of vinyasa. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale to drop your knees, your chest, and your chin. Elbows straight back, push in the air. Inhale to pull through into that Bhujangasana baby cobra. And exhale to push back through bent knees, downward facing dog. That's an option. You could also go through plank, lower down like we did earlier, all the way to the mat. Find that cobra breathing in down dog, breathing out. Or perhaps the classic vinyasa, which is how I'm going to call it from here on out. Inhale forward to plank, tip forward lower, only halfway, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, tops of the feet are down, thighs are up, shoulders out of the ears. I know you, get your shoulders out of your ears. Downward facing dog. One more time for the folks at home, and I know we're all home. Plank pose, breathing in. Chaturanga, breathing out. Urdh Bhangu Kashvanasanas, up dog. Adhamu Kashvanasanas, downward facing dog. I'm going to pause for a minute so I can reset the camera. Stay with us. So you're in your downward facing dog. Lift the right leg high as you breathe in, down dog, split. Bend the knee and open the hip as you breathe out. Straighten the right leg, inhale. Bend the knee. Exhale. Again, straighten the leg, breathe in. Bend the knee, breathe out. And then inhale to straighten the leg. On the exhale, knee to the nose, step through and find a low lunge. Keep the collarbones broad, push back through the left heel. Lengthen out. Inhale again. As you exhale, let the left knee find the mat and untuck your toes. Crawl up onto your right side. See if you can bring the hips more forward and down and the chest up and back, looking to breathe space into the hip flexors and top of the left quad. Keep the right hand on your right thigh and inhale your left arm up. Tip it over, side bend. Breathe here. Back to center with both arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands down around the right foot. Inhale to straighten the right leg, hips go back. Exhale, fold over your right leg. I know, don't panic. If your hamstrings are tight, you got blocks, you got books, anything you can put your hands on. If you have nothing, no props to work with, some people find it a little more forgiving to tuck the back toes and lift the back knee, that's fine too. If you do that, you might wanna shorten up the stance and go higher onto the ball of that left foot. Do your best, try to send the breath to the back of the right leg. Maybe two or three more breaths like this. Your breath at pace. And then you're going to take that right foot and turn it out 45 degrees. The whole right leg, it's actually coming from that femur bone turning in the hip socket. The whole leg turns out 45 degrees and both hands are going to go to the right of the right leg. It works with the back knee up and the back knee down. Just taking the stretch into a different, a little bit more of the outside of that right leg. Another breath like this. 
and then make your way back to center. Bend the right knee, hands down and on your leg foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, breathe in. Left hand presses, right arm lifts, easy lunge twist. Try to make sure your right knee is still stacking over that right ankle and try not to round into that left shoulder. None of this. Plug that shoulder blade back and towards your waist. Breathe in again. On the breath out, right hand down, left foot forward, fold at the top of the mat. Come halfway up and breathe in. As you breathe out, bend just your left knee. Right leg stays pretty straight. Left hand in front of you at least a foot. Tent those fingers, which means fingerprints on the mat, palms off. Start to lengthen your spine first, then spin your rib cage. Left ribs up, right arm lifts. Should help you breathe space into your outer right hip as you continue to look for length in the torso and the spine. You can add a half bind if you want, wrap the right arm around you, or not. Breathe in again. On the breath out, right hand down. Halfway up and lengthen, inhale. Plant the hands and step, step back, down dog, as you breathe out. Inhale to find your plank. And exhale, lower, shatter on. Upward facing dog, breathe in, and downward facing, breathe out. Left leg high, down dog split, breathing in. Bend the knee and open the hip. Try to keep your left shoulder down and square. Straighten the leg, inhale. Bend the knee, reopen the hip. Knee up, heel of the push. One more time, straight leg, breathe in. Bend and open, breathe out. And then inhale, straighten the left leg. As you exhale, left knee to the nose, step through and find that lunge. Remember, you want that left knee stacked over the ankle. Collarbones are broad. Push through the right heel. Breathe in again here. On the breath out, that right knee is going to find the mat on top of the toes. Call your way up onto the left thigh. Work the hips forward and down. Take the chest up and back. Breathing into those hip flexors in the top of that right quad. Keep your left hand on your left thigh and inhale your right arm up and add that side bend. Relax the left shoulder, keep it away from your left ear. And then on the next inhale, both arms up. As you exhale, hands down around that left foot. Lengthen the left leg, hips go back. Remember it's okay to tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, whatever you need to enable you to breathe space into the back of that left leg. About three breaths here. Hopefully sending the breath to the hamstrings and opening up some space there. And then like we did on the other side, you're gonna spin that left leg out, left foot to 45 degrees, both hands to the left of the left leg. Works with that back right knee up or down. Helps open up space in the outer hamstrings, maybe the outside of that left leg. And then make your way back to center, breathe in. Hands down around the left foot, breathe out. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, inhale, keep the collarbones wide. Right hand presses, left arm lifts, easy twist. Now because you can see my back, I hope here, I'm gonna show you what I see in class. I see a lot of this and this. Try to stack the joints uh, so that you're not sinking into them. So I'd like a nice straight line, right wrist, right shoulder, left shoulder, left wrist. So I'm plugging that shoulder blade in towards my spine and in my wrist. Breathe in again here. On the breath out, left hand down, right foot forward, you're at the top of the mat and fold. Halfway up and breathe in. Then we switch out that stretch by bending just the right knee. Tent the right finger is about a foot in front of you. And inhale the left arm up. None of this, no rounding. You shouldn't see the back of the room. Instead, lengthen the spine, send the chest forward away from the hips, and then spin the right ribs. Maybe look up over that left thumb. Half bind if you'd like, you wrap that left arm around, maybe grabbing the inner right thigh. And then left arm up as you breathe in. Left hand down as you breathe out. Soft knees engage the core, slowly round on up to stand. Lord Roberts, if you're there, go slower. And then let the shoulders relax. Let's take the shoulders up by the ears one more time, breathing in. And then all the way down.
on your back, breathing out. Take your right arm across your body. You're going to bend that left elbow, the forearm, right forearm, and the crux of the left elbow. Don't let your shoulder come out of the socket. Try to keep the shoulder square, and then breathe behind that right shoulder blade. And then just go ahead and switch that out. Relax that left shoulder. All right, both arms up, breathe in. Left hand, right wrist, side stretch. Hips to the, I don't even know, left, right, I just got confused. Back to center, breathe in, just switch it out, up and over. and then back to center. Hands pull into heart center. So we're gonna do a little Surya Namaskar, one breath per movement. It'll be sort of my classic lunging that I'm gonna build as we go. Again, take it or leave it, you do you. Any variations are good. You're always welcome to skip that vinyasa and just hold down dog instead, all right? So let's come to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Raise your arms up, breathe, and Fold on down, Uttanasana as a fold. Find it as you breathe out. Left foot back to the lunge. Inhale, right foot back, down dog. Exhale. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog as you breathe in. And downward facing as you breathe out. Right leg high, down dog split. Right foot through to the lunge. Exhale. Left foot meets the right. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, fold. Press down to rise all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana, arms up. Exhale, hands pull the energy to heart center. Raise your arms back up, breathe in. Fold on down and breathe out. This time, step your right foot back on the inhale. Left foot back. Adam Mukhashvanasana, down dog. Plank pose, breathing in. Chaturanga, breathing out. Urdhva Mukhashvanasana, up dog. And Adam Mukhashvanasana, down dog. Left leg high, down dog slip, breathe in. Left foot through to the lunge, breathe it out. Right foot meets the left, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Press down to rise up, breathe in. Hands to heart center, breathe out. Raise your arms and inhale. Fold on down and exhale. Left foot back to the lunge, breathe in. This time, right foot to plank, lower down, chaturanga, breathing out. Upward facing. And downward facing dog. Right leg high, down dog split, inhale. Right foot through to the lunge, exhale. Right arm up, easy twist, breathe in. Right hand down, left foot forward, fold and breathe out. Press down to rise on up, bird go, hostasana. Exhale, pull it in. Raise your arms, breathe in. Fold on down, breathe out. Right foot back to lunge, inhale. Left foot back, chaturanga, exhale. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing, and Adha Mukha, down dog. Left leg high, down dog, slip, breathe in. Left foot through to the lunge as you breathe out. Inhale to raise the left arm. Exhale, left hand down, right foot forward. Press down, rise up, breathe in. Hands pull, breathe out. Raise your arms and inhale. Fold on down and exhale. Left foot back to the lunge, breathe in. Maybe the right leg stays lifted as you go plank to chaturanga. Maybe not. Regardless, both feet down for the up dog. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, inhale. You can walk or you can jump to the front. Exhale. Halfway up, lengthen. Fold and breathe out. Press down to rise up. Breathe in the whole way. Exhale, hands together. Raise your arms up, inhale. Fold on down and exhale. Right foot back, breathing in. Maybe the left leg is lifted, plank to chaturanga, maybe not. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Left leg high, breathe in. Nope, I lied, don't do that. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, breathe in. Walk or fly to the front, breathe out. Halfway up and fold. Rise on up, inhale, hands pull it in, exhale. Raise your arms, breathe in. Swan dive down, breathe out. Halfway up, look for that length. Plant the hands. You step the plank. If you jump back, we land. Chaturanga. 
upward facing and downward facing. At least three deep breaths here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, breathe in. Walk or fly to the front, breathe out. Halfway and full. Press down, rise together, breathe in. Hands together, breathe out. One more time. Raise your arms, inhale. Fold on down and exhale. Halfway up. Plant the hands. Remember, you step to plank. If you jump back, it's to chaturanga. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, walk or fly. Halfway up and fold. Press down, rise together. And hands pull it in. Close your eyes, big breath in through the nose. Exhale it out through your mouth, let it go. Again, breathe in, bend. And exhale, let it go. Slowly open up your eyes. Raise your arms as you breathe in. You could toss in the chair pose as you breathe out. Let the weight be in the heels. You should be able to lift your toes. Every muscle you can summon hugs the center line. Make sure your bottom ribs lift out of your hips. If your shoulders are too tight or very tight, take your arms in a wider V. Too much, hands and heart center works too. In fact, everybody on the next breath out, pull it in. And then shift the weight into your right foot and cross your left ankle. Find that figure four, that hip stretch. We like to call it hip. It's really like that hamstring glute attachment of the left leg. I'm bending my right knee. Just push back, chest forward. Two more breaths like this. And then when you're done with that, on an exhale, you're gonna fold over crossed legs. So your left leg is gonna cross over your right and you go down. It's okay if you can't reach the ground. Some days I can't either. Helps you breathe into that upper, outer, right thigh, that IT band area. And then soft knees. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale. You're going to uncross your legs, and you're going to send that left leg back so that you're in a lunge. All right? And I was mirroring you, so I'm going to switch that out. Right foot's forward, left foot's back. Hold the lunge here. If you signed up for cardio yoga, you're gonna jump switch, right? Breathe in, exhale, jump switch. Breathe in, exhale, jump switch. Again, breathe in, exhale, jump switch. Maybe you go higher, breathe in, exhale, jump switch. Make sure your right leg is forward and your left leg is back. Breathe in here. On the breath out, you're gonna spin the left heel down and circle up to warrior two. So, your right knee is going to stack over that right ankle. If I drew a line from the right foot to the left, my right heel would hit the arch of the left foot. I'm going to take my arms out to a T and gaze over the right fingertips. All right? Zip up that back leg, inner thigh strong. And then I'm going to have you straighten the right leg. I'm going to turn to face you. The right toe spin to the left. So you're going to end up in the space where your heels are pointing in and your toes are at about 45 degrees. You're going to bend your knees, push back, chest forward. Hands go to the thighs. Keep the thumbs forward and the fingers wrapped back. And then you're going to straighten that right arm, press into the right leg. Let the right leg press against your right hand and turn over your left shoulder. Just lengthen the spine away from the hip. And then back to center and switch. A couple more if you want. You can move with your breath and you can just hold. And then press down and come on up. So let me try this. This is warrior two with my right foot forward. I just switch sides. Yeah? No surfing. Hug that outer left hip into the inner right thigh. Shoulders stack over the hips. Arms are out. All right. Peaceful warrior. Flip the right palm. 
Sweep up and back, open up that right, full right body. And then come back up, arms out into a T, your back in warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, triangle, send the left hip forward, reach the right, excuse me, send the left hip back, reach the right arm forward. Right hand can land on the shin, it can land on the ground. If you need to, you can shorten the stance. Long spine, and then spin the ribcage around that long spine, left arm up. Yeah? Breathe here. And then press down to come on up on the inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Peaceful warrior, breathing in. Cartwheel down into your low lunge, moving out. Inhale here. Plank to chatter on that. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, inhale. You can walk or you can fly to the front on the exhale. Halfway up and fold down, down. Bring your feet together. The next breath in takes you right back up into that Utkatashana chair pose. Every muscle you can summon, hugging into the center line. Navel in and up, lift the pelvic floor. Bring the hands together at heart center. Little pulses here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. The whole body should be screaming at me, not just the quads, too. 1. Inhale, straighten the legs. Maybe take it a little bit back. Exhale, stand up. Raise your arms up and breathe in. Back to chair pose and breathe out. Inhale here. Hands to heart center. Breathe in again. This time, weights in the left leg. Right ankle crosses. Remember, I'm doing my best to mirror you. Bend the left knee. Push back. Chest forward. Create space in that hamstring glute. Attach one of the right leg. Two or three more breaths. It's okay if you fall out. You come back in. Do your best for the balance. And then we fold over the cross legs. So the left foot lands to the right of the right foot. No. Nope. The right foot lands to the left of the left foot, and you go down. Breathing in the upper outer right leg. Left leg. All right. You're in your low lunge with your left leg forward and your right leg back. You can stay here, or you know what? Let's jump around again. Breathe in. Exhale. Jump. Switch. Maybe go higher this time. Breathe in. Exhale, jump, switch. Again, breathe in. Exhale, jump, switch. One more, breathe in. Exhale, jump, switch. All right, you're back in your lunge, inhale. On the exhale, spin the right heel down. We're going to warrior two, all right? None of this surfing. Let the back arm slightly win that tug of war. See if you can stack your shoulders over your hips. Make sure the left knee is directly over your middle toes, a little bit toward the pinky toe. Do not let it knock in, it's not safe. That back foot is a little bit angled. That right heel is a little closer to the back of the mat than the toes. Everything's hugging into the center line. Even the inner thighs draw in. All right. Now, straighten the left leg. Left toes spin to the right. So let's do that heels in, toes out. But this time you're going to take your hands behind you and interlace your fingers. Draw the shoulder blades together and down. And then let that go. Take your arms out into a T. Breathe in. Bend your knees. They're going to stack over your ankles right in the direction of the middle toes. Don't let them knock in. Not safe. All right? Breathe in again. On the breath out, you're going to eagle wrap your arms. Start left under right. If this is too much, you can just try to grab you know, uh, opposite shoulder blades. Yeah? Elbows up. Hands forward. If you're looking for more power in your practice, pulses. You want to take that shoulder opener deeper. You can take your forearms to the left. Gaze over your right shoulder. Back to center. Two more breaths. And then unwrap your arms, straighten your legs, rise up, breathe in. Back to that sort of plie position, breathe out. Now you're going to just switch. So you go around the other way, under left this time. Elbows up, hands forward. 
Maybe this time if you're looking for more power, you're gonna pulse your legs back, 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 and back. You can deepen if you want, take the forearms toward the back of the mat and the grip over the right shoulder. And then back to center, two more breaths. <laughs> On cross, raise your arms up, breathe in. Back to warrior two, breathe out. All right, peaceful warrior. Flip the left palm, swim up and back. Get the right shoulder out of your right ear, send the right hand down on the back of the right knee. And then stay reverse, straight left leg. Come on up, arms out into a T. Utita Trikonasana, triangle. Right hip forward, left arm back. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Then left hand to the left shin, to the ground, to a block. Maybe even your thigh if it's too much, and you can shorten that stance a little bit. Lengthen and then spin, left ribs up, lean back a little bit. And then come back up and breathe in. Warrior two, and breathe out. Peaceful warrior, inhale. Start with your hands down around the left leg. Low lunge. Breathe in. Plank to chaturanga. Upward facing, and downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, inhale. Walker fly to the front, exhale. Halfway up, and full on. All right, team, you know what's coming next. Crow pose, Bhakasana. If this is not for you, today's probably not the day to try it. I'm happy to do one-on-ones at some point to help you. So if you're not doing crow, you're either going to do a forward fold, ragdoll, or yogi polo, or you can try your yogi squat if it's in your practice. Those of you playing with crow, here we go. Hands shoulder width, maybe even wider. Fingers are spread wide. If you're learning and you're still working on it, remember, heels and toes out a little bit, knees wide. Lift your hips a little bit, gaze forward to the ground in front of you. Lift your tush, deliver your shins onto your triceps, look forward, one foot up. Tip forward a little more than you think you should, big toes touch. Smile, breathe. Hold, three, two, I'm looking back to see if I have room. I don't. Meet our friends in a forward fold. Feet down, hips up. Fold. Just sway it out a little bit here. All right. Halfway up. Everybody breathe in. Hold on down and breathe out. Bring your feet together and come find your chair pose. Breathe in. Hands to heart center. Breathe out. Lots of space. Add a twist. Go that way. So left tricep to the right thigh. So I'm going to show you this from the side here because I think this is a big issue here. When you fight, try to put that tricep on the thigh, you round to get there. And then I see a lot of this and people look to the back of the room and think it's a great twist, but it's really just rounding your back. I'd rather you find the length, put the arm there, you have to round a little to get there, lengthen it back out, chest forward where your toes point, and then hands can go to heart center. All right. Hold on down, let it go. Halfway up, breathe. Plant the hands, step to plank. We're going back to chaturanga through your vinyasa to find that down dog. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale, side out. All right. It sounds like you're asking about side out. <laughs> Want to hear something about it? Alexa, be quiet. All right. <clears throat> Right leg high, down dog split, bend the knee, open the head. You're welcome to stay here. Some folks like to flip into the half wheel. If that's in your practice, perhaps do it. If not, all good, stay and breathe. Three, two, one. Back around, down dog split, right leg high. Right knee to the left tricep, twist and hold. Three, two, one, right leg up. Right knee to the right tricep, hold here. Arm balancers, do your thing. Two, one. Right leg high. And then let's just take the right foot outside the right hand, wide low lunge. Rock a little bit here. Let the left knee find the mat, untuck the toes, tend the fingers, hips forward, heart up. You can stay here, but you know I like this quad stretch opportunity. 
Do you bend the left knee, right hand reaches back to the ankle or the foot. And then let that go. Both hands to the inside of the right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out, right foot back, hips home. Cycle through, plank pose, and chaturanga. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Left leg high, down dog split, bend the knee, open the head. Stay here or flip into your half wheel. Hips up, heart open. Remember, it's going to be a full wheel one day. Two, one. Back around team, down dog split, left leg is high. Left knee to the right, tricep, twist and three, two, one. Left leg is up. Left knee to the left, tricep, stay here or find that arm balance. Two, one. Down dog split. And then left foot outside, the left hand for that wide low lunge. Rock it back and forth a little bit. And then let the right knee find the mat on top of the toes, hips forward, heart lifts. You're welcome to stay here, but definitely stay even. If you did the quad stretch on the other side, do it here. Don't be sinking into that right shoulder. Plug the shoulder blade into your spine and back towards your ribs. Pull that right foot towards you as you try to kick your leg deep in. And then gently let that go. Both hands down to the inside of the left foot. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, breathe in. Down dog, and breathe out. Plank, chaturanga. Upward facing, and downward facing dog. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Again, breathe in big, and exhale, let it go. All right, hands are going to go to the outside edges of the mat, so they're wider than your shoulders if you're not using the mat. Bring your feet together, marching forward a couple inches. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, breathe in. Walk or jump through to sit, breathe out. All right, we're sitting. Shake your legs out while you're here. And then let me see. Let's try it this way. Hi, both toes. Bend your knees, grab your thighs, sit tall. All right, maybe you stay here, you smile and you breathe. Maybe you like to reach your arms long. Maybe you like to extend your legs long. Just don't let it crank those hip flexors. It's okay to keep the knees bent. You're still good at yoga. Breathe in, five, four, three, two, one. Half boat, five, four, three, two, one, come on up. If this hurts your back, don't do it. If you need support, hands under the sacrum. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab the back to the thighs. Start to rock back and forth. Get a little momentum and reach your arms forward, palms face up. Keep rocking. Plant your feet right up to chair. No hands. Okay, so I fell a little. What happens? You're back in chair. Hands to heart center. The twist has to go the other way. So, this time I'll face you. Lift the sternum into the thumbs, make space, and then you twist. This time it's the left tricep to the outer right thigh. Remember, we had a round to get there, and then you're going to lengthen it out. It really helps to keep the hips slightly lower than the chest, more room for those left ribs to spin. Plank, plank, plank. And then fold on down and let it go. Halfway up, plant the hands, make your way back through your vinyasa or not, find that downward facing dog. Big breath in, and big breath out. You can try that jump through one more time, or not, just make your way to sit. If you're working on it and you're lucky enough to have blocks where you are, put them under your hands, it really helps. All right? There we go. Now. Shake those legs out, and then tuck the fingers behind you, bend your knees, and let's just windshield wipe right out a little bit like we did in the beginning, hopefully noticing that we actually are creating a little space in the body with the practice. All right. Now you're going to sit up nice and tall. You can plant your heels and lift your toes, and slowly lower down. If you're looking for more work, you can extend, 
you can hold, you can sing, you can smile. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lay down a little mini Shavasana, but don't go to sleep. Bend your knees. We're setting up for Satu Bandha Bridge. Your heels are pretty close to your touch. Your feet are hips width. Lift your hips a little bit and interlace your fingers on the bed. Scooch your shoulders under you one at a time. Once you get in position, you press into your feet, your pinkies, and your triceps to lift up even higher. As if there's a block between your thighs, everything's here the center line, even those legs squeeze in. Think chest to chin rather than chin to chest. Three more breaths like this. Those of you that are in, have a nice strong will practice, feel free. Take whatever variations you like. And then coming down from that bridge, you unscooch your under your fingers, unscooch the shoulders, and slowly round on down one vertebra at a time. Will, as you're ready, tuck your chin. Back of the head comes down first. Windshield wiper your knees a little bit side to side. And then let's pull them in and give them a squeeze, continuing to rock side to side, massage out your sacrum. I like to make circles in the opposite directions with my knees. And then let's take a full, nice spinal release with a happy baby. So you're going to grab the inside of the outside of your feet, knees and the armpits. The key of this release is to work the tailbone to the ground. For me, sometimes it helps to extend my legs in a V shape. Keep working the tailbone down. And then everybody extend the legs up in the air 90 degrees for the three to come on. If you'd like to put a block under your sacrum for support, please feel free. If there's other inversions in your practice, you're on your own this time, feel free. Just as long as your feet are above your heart. So you're got on a shoulder stand or a forearm stand or a head stand or a hand stand, that all counts. You can even march yourself over to a wall if there's one nearby and go ahead and put your legs up the wall. I'm actually going to stop talking for about 10 breaths. Next breath out or so as you're ready. Those of you in, in inversions that need counters, please take them. Those of you still in Vipareta, just bend your knees. We're all going to meet, please, on our backs with our feet about max width, so a little bit wider than hips. Drop both knees to the left. Cross your left ankle on your right knee. Try to get your right knee to point straight out down in front of you as if it was extending from your right hip. Should feel kind of good. And then just switch it out and cross the left leg, both knees up, knees to the right, right ankle on the left knee. Maybe this is a good time. All right. One more breath like this. And uncross that right ankle. Pull your body up into a nice tight bow. Big tight squeeze. Breathe and find your way into your Shavasana on the breath out, final relaxation. If your back is tight, you have anything blocked or bolstered, put it under your thighs. If you prefer seated meditation or whatever you want to do to close out your practice, that's fine too. Try to close your eyes, let go of your breath. Feel supported by the ground beneath you. Absorbing the benefits of the practice. Acknowledging thoughts as they come into your head and then immediately letting them go best you can.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Breathe a little movement into your fingers and your toes. Extend your arms long over your head to the ground behind you and take your hips gently side to side. Stretch super long from your fingers through your toes. Kind of side me one side. Bend your knees, draw your feet to the mat. Roll over onto your right side. Take a moment here to just float your pose. Using your left hand, maybe keep your eyes closed and come up and find a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at heart center. Eyes stay closed, but slightly bow our heads in gratitude for this practice and such deep gratitude for each other. We'll seal the practice with the sacred sound of all three hands. Oh. Prayer to the third eye, but just above between your eyelids. Thank you for joining me. I miss you all. Send you such love and good energy and wishes for best health. So much for practicing with me. Feedback, requests, messages, all good. If you want some one-on-one -on -one FaceTime, I got to kind of let you know. We can try to work that out. Okay, love, love.